Still time to get food though, right? Located near the heart of Markham, Bow Tree Restaurant has a menu packed with plant power. So if you want to be like my man Justin, then bring it on down to Bow Tree Plant Based Cuisine. So if you've been watching a lot of our recent videos, then you know that we've been hitting up a lot of grilled meats, we've been doing a lot of big treats, and a lot of fried foods. So we thought, you know what, it's probably a good time to ease back a little bit and try some plant-based foods. So let me show you their fish and chips. So as I mentioned, all the menu options at Bow Tree Cuisine are plant-based. The other dish that we got is their cauliflower steak. Look at that huge piece of cauliflower. Oh, check out all those seasonings on there and spices and herbs. Both these dishes look really awesome and I'm really curious as to how they're gonna taste. I'm gonna plate these up, I'll see you in a second. So this cauliflower steak is actually what Jamie ordered, but she was nice enough to let me have the first bite so that I could share it with you guys. So you can see here, they've got that nice Thai salad. And then here's your grains right here. The, uh, I believe that's quinoa. But the star of the show is obviously going to be this beautiful cauliflower steak here. Oh, I love the smell of that roasted cauliflower. All right, enough talking about it. Let's dig in. I just love how it's got all that seasoning on there. Yeah, lightly seasoned. Mm. It's got that nice crunch still. Mm. The quinoa, it's got that nice light fluffy, but there are raisins in it. I'm not a big fan of raisins myself, but a little bit of that sweetness is pretty nice in there too. Now let's check out this Thai salad that came with it. Mm. Some cabbage, even some olives. Mm. I'll be honest, these aren't exactly flavors that I tend to go for very often. Like if I see these options on a menu, that has both meat and vegetarian based dishes. Not gonna lie, I tend to gravitate to a lot of those meat dishes. When I would hear names like cauliflower steak and I would get in my head, oh, okay, so this is a substitute for meat. Well, I'll be honest, if you compare this to a steak and you like steak, steak's your thing, well, I don't think that that's necessarily a fair thing to compare it to, right? It's cauliflower, it doesn't really it doesn't taste like meat. If you go in there with the mindset of, oh, okay, so I'm gonna have something that's like imitation meat. Well, you're probably gonna end up being pretty disappointed. I went into it with the mindset of, I'm gonna try something that tastes different, that's new, not something that I'm used to. And just with a really open mind, try to see what makes this such a favorite amongst people who do have a plant-based diet. So I went with their fish and chips. But wait a minute, Clark, didn't you say this was a plant-based restaurant? It is. This actually isn't fish. They made this with a banana leaf flour. I've never had a banana leaf flour before, so this is gonna be a really interesting experience for me, and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So as you can see, it comes with French fries, as well as some dipping sauces. Now, let's cut into that crispy fish filet.
wow, that's, that's really interesting. It really looks like fish meat. I mean, look, look at this. I mean, at a glance, I, I dare you to say that it doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's really interesting. But how does it taste? Hmm. Whoa. Oh, I like how that's seasoned. Some salt, some pepper. Mmm. Batter's nice and light. And yeah, that texture. It has that that texture of meat in a way. But the other thing that I find amazing is just how well it's taken on the flavor. I mean, let's be honest, when you're eating fried foods, I mean, you're looking for that kind of, that taste of that oil. And so that definitely comes through. It, it, it's taken on that taste. And you know, with the salt and the seasonings that go with that, mm. All right, we need to try some of that spicy tartar sauce on there now. Mm. Mm. That spicy tartar sauce goes really well with the crispiness and the saltiness of that banana leaf. Mm. So much like the cauliflower steak, which doesn't have that beefy, meaty taste. This fish and chips, yeah, it doesn't have that ocean taste. But again, it has its own unique flavor. And I have to admit that I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with it. Although it doesn't taste like fish, this one has a lot of that look and that texture. So it might begin to play a few tricks with your mind at first. But again, I would say, you know, keep an open mind and an open palate. It, it tastes really good. This I would definitely get again. You may not know this, but a few years ago, I was diagnosed with a few medical problems and nothing serious or anything like that. After meeting with the nutritionist, it was pretty clear that I wasn't having a very balanced diet and that plant-based foods really weren't a big part of my cuisine choices. So we have started eating more plant-based foods and I've been craving more and more variety, not just the same thing over and over again. So checking out a place like Bow Tree Cuisine and seeing all the amazing things that they're doing with plant-based foods, hey, it's, you know, it's another option. If it's something that you're considering, I would say, you know, after trying this, definitely check them out. If you like the video, then please help me out and give it the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can see more videos about the fantastic food we have here in Markham, Toronto and the surrounding area. You guys keep staying safe, staying happy, and I'll catch you guys next time when I get food.